What's up guys, it's your FAE manager Fortune from Top Flight Tech and today I'll be showing you how to install this device on your container. This is the SolarGuard X100, let's jump right into it. So firstly, what you want to do is open this device. In this case, I'm going to use my NFC card. There we go. I heard the buzzering sound and when you check here, it's going to show me a solid light. That's to show me that this device is unlocked successfully. Then on both ropes, ropes here, you want to use the one on the left. You will see the unlock icon here. Pull out this one, like that, simply. Don't pull out this one, otherwise you want to use a lot of force. We advise that you use this one because we don't want both of them coming out at the same time. Now we are inserting in the lock. Make sure that it is upside down. Deployment is always upside down. Never, never put your lock like that. We advise that you put it upside down because we don't want any foreign materials getting inside this house here. Remember, deployment is upside down. Like that. So I've seen a light on top of the light display there. It flashed just to tell me that this lock has been locked successfully. Make sure that as a person who is on the field, this light is seen. Otherwise, if you don't see that light, it means that your lock was not locked successfully. You will see some error lights, like three of them. One, two, three, they will be on. That's to show you that it's not locked. Unlocking the SolarGuard X is in multiple ways. This part that you see here is what we are calling the wake up card. This is to wake up the device in case you want to open this lock over the air. Maybe your fleet manager is in the is, is somewhere and the person who is here doesn't have the NFC card or doesn't have the Bluetooth app. You, want, you just want to wake up this device and then someone is going to open it using the uh, web interface and this device is going to open. So let me use the wake up card. As soon as I scan with a wake up card, there's a light that is blinking on top there. So as a person on the field, you will see a light blinking. That is that is to show you that the device is up and it's ready to receive command from anyone who is going to input the unlock command and this device is going to open. That is over the air. But in this case, I'm going to open this device using our NFC card. Let's get into it. As soon as I scan, there's a solid light there that is to show me that this device is open. So you will notice that when I remove the cable, that light will go off. Yeah. As soon as I remove the cable, the light that was showing that it's unlocked disappeared. Now, at this point, you might have noticed that there's a couple of those just on this container itself. Now, if you want to lock all of these smart core doors, do, are you supposed to buy a lot of e-locks or do you have any other solution? With this cable that we have here, it's customizable according to your likings. You, you just have to mention it. What's the length that you want? 20 meters, 30 meters, 40 meters. So it means this same rope can go through all these multiple doors that you are seeing here. At the end of it all, you only connect it to one e-lock. That means you are guarding multiple doors with just one e-lock. Isn't that sensational? Here is another scenario. Behind me here is a truck that is dealing in cold chain supply. To be, to be specific, it's dealing with food deliveries. When you look at the surface of this container, it is non-metallic. So do you have any method in which you are going to attach this device? Let's try. We want to mount it. It cannot get attached, you see? So what we want to do is we have a plate that you can attach on this container. First of all, you clean it nicely. You attach the plate. That means it's going to be metallic and this device can go and attach on the container. Let me show you just how. This is our metal plate. You want to mount this on the container. There are two methods. You can either use the screws. If you are not so concerned about this surface, you can just mount it with the screws like that. Uh, just about a convenient distance yeah something like that 
So you scroll here, there, there on all the four screws, and then you will come and mount your device on this plate. Now, if you are so concerned about the surface of this container, what you want to do is use the glue stick. You will paste this glue on the metal plate here, and then with the clean surface of your container, you want to paste this together. Then after like 24 hours, we are ready to go and use it on this non-metallic device. Just that it's easy and very, very, very uh, convenient. Isn't that awesome?